Hi folks, Matt Easton, Scholar Gladiatoria here. Um, so I've talked a lot in the past about fullers, that is grooves in blades, and the fact that they are not blood grooves and they are not for um, letting the vacuum out when you stab someone so you can extract your knife, this is rubbish. Um, and in fact the fuller is a groove that does two main things, can do other things, but does two main things and that is essentially to lighten and stiffen a blade in much the same way as an H girder or I-beam, whichever you want to call it, works. Um, but actually, primarily in most knives and swords, it is to reduce the weight. This incidentally is a Solingen made um, World War II German bayonet. Um, these were often used obviously in close combat in World War II and very similar ones in World War I. And, um, Quite simply, I'm making this video, and I'm going to keep it pretty short, because in the comments section uh, today I read someone going, I can tell you for a fact that that is for letting the blood out. Um, and I, I was incredulous, and so I immediately leapt on my camera to make, a, to make a response and say, no, it is not to let the blood out. The thing that lets the blood out is after you've stabbed someone, you pull the knife out and the great big gaping bleeding wound is what lets the blood out. And it should also be pointed out for those who don't know, I, I'm a qualified first aider, but um, when you bleed from a wound, you bleed internally and externally. And in actual fact, a wound that is a stab wound that is blocked up on the outside can still kill you because you're still bleeding internally and some part of your body, like for example your lungs, will get full up with all of that blood that's not travelling to where it should be going and it fills up a different part of your body instead. Someone who has been stabbed you'll often see what looks like a large bruise mark underneath the skin because the, the blood essentially wells there. Pretty grim, sorry I have to talk about that, but there we go. Um, so quite simply it is not to let the blood out uh, once you've um, once you've used your weapon on someone you tend to pull it out again you tend not to leave it there the only world in which a groove could be to let the blood out would be if you stabbed someone with the weapon and walked away just left it there that is the only possible con conceivable way in which you would require something to let blood out because once you've put the weapon in, you pull it out again, and the blood will come out of that wound. So there we go, guys. It is not a bloodletting mechanism. The groove is there, whether it's a K-bar or any other type of modern fighting knife, or any kind of historical sword or knife or dagger. It is there as a lightening and stiffening device. You don't need it there. A double-edged dagger will do just the same job in stabbing someone. Um, it's just a different cross-section. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.